Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it's a brother Abel. Just wanted to share a quick word with you before I get into all that. I just want to give praise to the Most High, because without Him, we're nothing. The title to this one is called Observe Your Thoughts and Behavior, Church. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 128. Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to a depraved mind, so that they do what ought not to be done. Humble service in the body of Christ. Romans 12, 3, 8. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought. But rather, think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Food for thought. The rude word in entertainment is enter. The enemy gains entry through entertainment. Be mindful of what you're entertained by. It just may gain entry to your soul. Careful to not be a stumbling block to another person's walk. If you don't fill your mind with the word of God, the enemy will fill it with fear, doubts, and lies. Be very careful what seeds you're planting because you reap what you sow. Jesus loves you. Peace. Shalom.